Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review on the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc. This does retail for $50. I did purchase it off of Ulta. I do feel like that's a little bit pricier than what NARS foundations usually are. Again, I don't know if it's because of inflation this year or whatever happened, but again, I do feel like this is quite expensive. If you are new to my channel, I do have oily acne prone skin. The only breakouts I have going on right now is right here on my chin. I do still have some acne scarring going on, but I do feel like I found a skincare routine that does work really well for me. Um, so for the most part, everything is cleared up. It is winter time, so my skin is not as oily, but I have been trying this out now for the last few months. So I do have a pretty good review of this. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop in. The last thing that I do wanna mention though is as always, just because a product does or doesn't work for me, doesn't mean it's going to work for you, you know, and vice versa. So I will also include some comparison swatches with a few other foundations. So if you guys are kind of looking for your shade or wondering what this compares to, I'll share that with you guys after the review. So I do want to go ahead and say uh, just the claims of this. It says that it's supposed to be a light reflecting foundation is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid that instantly blurs and smooths and which visibly improving skin's clarity over time. So it says that this is supposed to be a breathable, medium, buildable foundation that instantly conceals redness and dark spots and blurs wrinkles, pores, and texture. It's powered by 70% skincare ingredient to visibly improve clarity and light reflecting complex to enhance luminosity. It says it's for most skin types, including sensitive, and it's all day wear. So this sounded like right up my alley because I definitely feel like as I've gotten older, I don't like foundations that are as flat, matte, say as there soft matte complete coverage foundation like I still like this foundation but as you get older I feel like you like your skin to have more of like a I don't want to say like a dewiness but just like a glow but not oily so like I said this just sounded right up my alley I do want to say that this foundation I am going to apply with a brush if you guys have been uh, subscribed to me for a while you guys know I like I love my sponges for my foundation because I like the finish better but this is a pretty liquidy foundation and I personally found that no matter how much I tried to build this up with a sponge, I didn't get any more coverage with it and I felt like it felt heavier the more I put it on but without adding any coverage. So I also want to mention that the only skincare that I have on my skin is my um, like morning, morning moisturizer and my eye cream. It's the only thing I have on. I haven't primed my skin or anything like that so we're just going to go in straight away with this. I'm just shaking it up really good because I do feel like it can kind of uh, separate. Oh, let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see a little bit better. So I got you guys zoomed in pretty far. Um, this does come with a pump. Of course, the typical NARS packaging is really nice. But I am going to show you guys how runny this foundation is. So I'm just going to put like two pumps so you guys can see. It is pretty runny um, right away. And I just apply it with my fingers. And then I am going to go in with a brush. I'm using this IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. And I do like to work in sections like I do with all of my foundation, so you can kind of just see. But it spreads really, really easy, as you guys can probably tell. And I do love how this looks. I would say for me personally, this is more of a light coverage foundation. I don't like to build this foundation because I feel like it has a very, I don't want to say like an oily feel to the skin, but just like a heavier feel to the skin, which I don't typically like on my face because I don't like to feel a foundation. And this is definitely one of those that the more I build it up, the heavier it feels on my skin. Like I said, I'm just gonna move on to my forehead. And also this shade does work really good for me right now. I definitely feel like in the summertime, I would probably have to go up a shade, but I do typically like, I'm all about sunscreen now, so I feel like I don't hardly ever get any sun. So I feel like I can sometimes kind of look ghostly. But so as you guys can probably see, this is one coat on my forehead and this side of my face compared to here, which I don't have any foundation on. It blends out incredibly smoothly, which I do really like. As you guys see, it's very easy to blend. I don't feel like it's patchy or streaky as long as you make sure that you're buffing it into the skin, which I think is really nice. And I did pump out two pumps on my hands and that's about what it takes to do my entire face. And then I just bring it down my neck a little bit. So I'm hoping you guys can kind of see that little spot right there. How it covers it up like the redness, but I wouldn't say it gives amazing coverage. But again, I mean, I just, I love how easy this foundation blends and I feel like it really just blends in to your skin and almost looks invisible, which is something that I do really, really like. I don't know if I would personally say this is medium coverage. I think if you're someone 
who struggles with acne or any sort of scarring, this is going to be a very light coverage foundation. It is definitely light coverage on me. But I do think, like I said, it looks incredibly skin-like and has a nice glow, but not an oily glow to it. Like I said, I do not like to build this foundation up because I don't like how it feels. Like, as I build it up, I feel like it kind of has like a sunscreen kind of feel, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But for the sake of this video, I did want to show you guys me trying to build it up a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit more and I'm going to put it on the areas that I would like to build up, which I do feel like I need just a little bit more coverage on. Well, if I can get the pump to work. I had to get me a towel because it, like I said, put out a lot. But I'm just putting a little bit, like I said, on the areas where I'd like just a little bit more coverage. So I just did it right here on the high points of my cheeks because I do feel like you can still see a little bit of the redness. And then I kind of just like to tap that in because I do feel like if I tap, you get just a little more coverage. If you guys can see, I feel like I added that and I honestly don't feel like it added any coverage, but I can feel it on my skin. I would not consider this buildable because I feel like it feels heavy. Like if you don't mind the feel of like foundation on your skin when you start building it up, then I think that this one's going to be fine. But it's that second layer that I'm just putting on in that area. I just feel like I immediately feel it on my skin, which I don't like. And of course, I'm just doing all my nose and the sides of my nose because I had my glasses on all morning. And just to add some coverage. All right, guys, so here it is. Like I said, I think this is very beautiful. The shade matches me extremely well. I feel like it does look very skin-like, but this is a pretty tacky foundation, so you definitely have to set it down. I am gonna finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll just talk to you guys about how long this wears throughout the day, and then share with you guys the comparison swatches. All right, guys, so I did just finish my makeup. So lastly, I kind of want to talk to you guys about how this wears on my skin, how this holds up, and how this works with other products. So this foundation works incredibly well with any sort of cream or liquid products. If I go in with, I'm trying out like a cream bronzer right now. Um, I really have been into liquid and cream blushes. This works incredibly well. It blends them seamlessly into the skin, and I absolutely love it. However, if you do not set this before you go in with any sort of powder br blush or powder bronzer, I feel like it can really grab that and make it look patchy. So I would definitely recommend setting your face if you are going to be going in with other powder products on top of this. Now, I do want to say that if you do not set it, you will have like that tacky, sticky feel to the skin, which I personally do not like because I do have oily skin. So I do like to make sure that I set this, but what I'll do is I'll go in with my cream products first and then I'll just set my entire face, including like my bronzer and my blush with the powder. And it does set it all really nicely and I do love how it looks. Like right now, looking at my skin, I do really like it. As you guys can tell where I have set everything, I feel like it doesn't look as dewy and as shiny. If my skin stayed like this, I would really love this foundation. However, this foundation does not last on my skin. Within wearing this, I would say almost an hour, two hours, I can already see my oils really starting to seep through, which I normally don't mind because I don't mind for my skin to look a little bit dewy. But this is to like such an extent that like if I even touch my face, every single bit comes off. We still have to wear masks where I work, and the foundation that I normally use is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. Now this does still transfer and come off a little bit, but it, it's like it still leaves some coverage on my skin. This completely wipes off. This is one of those foundations that even if I'm not wearing a mask and I go like this and I touch my skin, I pull it away, all kinds of foundation on my hand. Just the transfer of this is so bad that I feel like I cannot wear this out anywhere because one, I'm a face toucher and this time of the year I'm putting my jacket on, putting my hoodie on, and the worst that I ever did was I didn't realize this was a transfer so bad and I was leaving and I put my like hood on, you know how like you stretch your head like through the hole when it's tight. And like literally when I pulled it down here, I seen some stuff right here and I pulled back all that foundation was on here. And when I got in the car and I looked in the mirror, there was like streakiness of like where the foundation had just pulled off. So unfortunately this does not work for me. This does not hold up on my oily skin. I don't think that this is transfer proof. Again, I think this is a beautiful foundation. And if this last and didn't transfer, I would recommend this, but for someone I think that has oily skin, this is not gonna be a foundation that I am going to gravitate towards or reach towards. Because like I said, even with setting this, it still transfers and it's bad. It's not that where it barely transfers. So unfortunately it's gonna be a no for me. I am gonna continue using this. I actually think I wanna see if I can mix these two and kind of see what happens with them because I really don't like to waste makeup products. I'm gonna see if I can still make it work. But unfortunately I cannot recommend this for someone like me, like I said, who has oily skin, 
the when the oil starts seeping through it just like it just wipes off and this reminds me very similar to the NARS radiant foundation in the sense of like how bad it transfers like that foundation I got super oily with but like again it's one of those that it wipes right off it doesn't even like I feel like truly sink into the skin if that makes any sort of sense but I feel like this just like I said I love how it looks like looking like I said in my mirror in the viewfinder like when I was first wearing it out I love this foundation but I could not get over how incredibly bad it would transfer but overall I think it's beautiful it does not irritate my skin it has not made me break out I feel like as long as you set this down before you go in with powders it does not look patchy so I do think it has some redeeming qualities I think if you're someone who might have dry skin you might really like this or maybe more normal skin sorry about that my camera cut me off but if you guys have tried this I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below but I am gonna hop in and share with you guys the comparison swatches to a few other foundations that I have I did some pretty heavy swatches so you guys could tell the colors. So this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc Light 2. Now this is also the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This is also in the shade Mont Blanc Light 2. There is quite a difference. This one I feel like has more of like a pink undertone and is a little bit lighter. Uh, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte in the shade Pearl. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime Foundation in Light 6. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in Y235. This is the Merit Foundation Stick Foundation in the shade Linen. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation. And this is in the shade Light. And then this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the shade 420. Try to All right, guys. So I hope those comparison swatches helped you guys. If you have tried this foundation out, please let everyone know in the comments down below. Because like I said, I know everyone has different opinions and different experiences with every product. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.